Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Yeah, interview we've ever done here. Thank you so very much uh, for coming home. Uh, my name is uh, Maureen Mabonga. I'm an area member of Parliament from Fuego constituency. Who is in the Bush Mandate District in Chinga Province? For those that may not know. So basically, um, we just want to tackle one issue here, and we want to make it clear that as female parliamentarians coming from the opposition patriotic front, we are saddened. We are not happy. We are heartbroken by what just happened yesterday. As you all may, may be aware, we knew of one girl who went missing about six months ago, Pamela Stoker, and. And all of us have been looking for one girl. But as it turned out yesterday, we discovered that there were two, 12 more girls who were abducted, and these girls have been sexually abused. One of them is heavily pregnant, and we are just wondering what could have happened. We have so many questions that I know the public is asking us so many questions as to what could have happened. We are talking about six months. We are talking about a, a girl, a, a young girl that is heavily pregnant. And we don't know what could have happened. So how long was she kept there? And then the other point is, uh, we, we are worried as women to say, because usually what happens is the question that we have is this. Where were the police officers? Were these cases reported to to the police in their different uh, or various locations? And if the cases were reported to the police, why is it that we never got a warning from the police? Because you all know what happens. When there is something that is unusual that is happening, the police will warn the public. They will say, be careful, there are people that are abducting young girls. And so even as parents, we'll start taking care of our children. But what happened in this case? It was awkward. The police were mute. And we just we are just wondering as to why they would keep quiet over such a sensitive issue. We are not talking about one girl, we are talking about 13 girls abducted, kept in a house in Lusaka, Chalala area, at the nose of the police, at the nose of the president. So we have so many questions unanswered, and we as women parliamentarians, as you can see today, we decided to come in black. We, we, we are not happy. We are mourning. We are very sad. We are heartbroken. And we feel for the parents of those women. And we want to tell the, the, those women, the mothers, their parents, that we are with them and we are very saddened. But I want to take this opportunity also to challenge the police. We want answers. What happened for the last six months? Why is it that girls were abducted? They were kidnapped from different locations, but within Lusaka. And uh, the police were quiet about it. We were looking for one girl, and yet we had 13 girls who were missing. Where were they planning to take these girls? What could have happened to these girls if they did not escape? And we know that there was another girl and uh, a, a boy who was murdered right there, and, and, and they were even buried in the same yard. So for us, we are very worried and we are concerned. We want assurance from government. We want assurance from the Ministry of Home Affairs that our children are safe. We are not even done talking about the issue of the Sodom. Our boys were sodomized. Strange things are happening. These things, we hear them from Nigeria, the Boko Haram issues. And now they are in Zambia. What is happening to our country? Where are we going and what has gone wrong in our country? So as women parliamentarians today, we are in black. We, we, we mourn and we are worried, so worried about our children, about their healthy. You can imagine they were abused for six months, sexually abused for six months for how many, or about, with how many boys or girls or men, we don't know. Six whole months. So this is very sad and we want to register our disappointment as women parliamentarians. And I just want also to call on the on the CSOs. Why are they mute? Why are they quiet? There's a civil society organizations that deal with women issues. Why are they quiet? We want to get answers from government. What has gone wrong? What happened to these girls? How is it possible that we can have 12, 13 girls abducted and kept in a house for, th for six months? I think we need to get answers from the police. What were they doing? Why? 
parliament for Nanda's constituency. I've had a terrible night just looking at pictures on how the girls were imaging on themselves. It shows something. It could be that they were being terrorized in the night and the only refuge they had, these children, was to go and hug themselves and be together. It's sad as a mother of girls. It's very painful for me as a member of parliament sitting in this 13th National Assembly and knowing that our girls are out there, they are being abused. You know, it's so humiliating. How will they face the world? How will they look at men? How will they look at society? How are they going to face this world? It's so painful, really, for me and my sisters here and the other women out there. We know how painful it is to go through labor and for your child just to be abducted and be kept in such an environment. It is very painful for us. No wonder we said there is no way we are just going to go straight into the house. We need to talk to the media so that the message can go out there that as female parliamentarians we are at pain. In fact, even sitting in the house today is not even it. All we wanted is just to go in and bow and come out because there is no way we are going to allow our children to be treated in such an inhumane way. We need answers. Not tomorrow. We need the answers today. Who is going to take care of those children? Who is going to attend to them psychologically? Who is going to, you know, it, it takes out, it deflowers you. The whole woman in you just gets deflowered. And the moment they sit, if it comes in their head, these are children who can run mad, these are children who who have mental challenges we are bringing these problems on ourselves zambia where have we gone what is it that has gone wrong in this country we need answers we need answers to this and definitely as a woman member of parliament and my sisters here we are at pains and for sure unless we get the real answers that's the only time we are going to stop otherwise we'll go in black we'll go in black until we get the answers thank you so much for coming I think everything has been said. Do you need to say something? Because everything has been said. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the women have spoken and uh, like we have said, we are at pains, we are heartbroken, um, we are crushed because this thing has happened to young girls, our children out there and it cannot just go like that. It's, we are not talking about one, it, it's a disaster for me, I can say it's a disaster. You can't have 13 abused children out there in the streets and nothing happens so we are asking for answers from the police especially as to why they remained mute for such a long time they could have warned the public to say your children are not safe take care of your girls because there have been reports of the girls missing i don't think that these uh, the, the parents or the guardians for these children didn't report they must have reported but the question is why was it not given to the public why was the information kept away from the public so i'm challenging the police to come out in the open and give us answers because we are going to run mad we are worried and we are afraid for our lives this thing only happens in in nigeria we've heard about it where girls were abducted by are we have are we having a boko haram in zambia do we have a boko haram in zambia that can manage to abduct and then the other thing is when you look at those same boys who, are, who were abducted i don't think they were alone they must have been acting with you with another person they were not just the two of them they could not have managed where did they get the money to rent a house for such a very long time so we need answers and we need clarity we need to be assured that our children as they are moving about they are very safe and Another thing that I want to say is, for me, I feel there's a lack of, uh, there's a, a misappropriation of priorities. The priorities are not set. Because when you look at what has been happening, within the same six months, I will tell you there's been so many political arrests. Okay, there have been so many uh, cases to do with politics. 
So the police, instead of them looking at the bigger issues, instead of them looking at the, the issues that are affecting all of us, they are busy focusing on politicians, they are busy pursuing other, other, other things. I, I, would, I would even say this because I'm disappointed. People, people were saying that it took about 50 minutes for the police to, to come to the scene. And my question is, when there's a political uh, figure, when there's a politician who has, who has a case, they will immediately take this, this, this person, they will be transported either to Kaoma, we've heard of issues, they are transported even to Chinsadi like criminals. They use government money, they use uh, fuel to transport these, these people. Politicians who are in offices, who cannot even run away, who can even find themselves in, uh, in uh, wherever they, they, they will be caught. But look, when there's a serious issue, like an abduction, they took more than 50 minutes, almost one hour. What could have happened if these people had guns? They could have killed all of them. You know? It was just a saving grace. God saved those, those, those little girls. And we thank him for that. So thank you very much for coming. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.